All right, guys. Um, welcome back. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty short video. It's against heroes. Uh, it, 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 it's it's gonna give you a sense and I guess uh, an idea of how the matchup is. Um, right away, when in hindsight, you right away you, you think of Synchrons and Dark Lord, and you, you think right away all oh, Dark Lord is gonna win the game. Uh, but fortunately, I have some outs. I have Raiko, I have Book, and I have Twin Twister for his back row. So um, I, I, it gives me a chance to to be able to get my combo pieces in the grave and just a chance to to play. Whereas um, some builds they don't play um, uh, the Raikos to pop uh, a back row to pop a floodgate monster. So. Uh, luckily, I I I played that. I have that option, so it's gonna, it's gonna come in, in handy. Yeah. So then um he goes and uh, goes for acid. Try, tries to pop my back row, but they're two chainable spells. So uh, I chain my twin twister, hitting his both back rows, and then I chain my book of moon, booking his acid because there's no point in booking his uh, dark law because he um he he can just flip it. So there's no point. And then I. Fortunately, he attacked into my Raikou, and that's going to take care of Dark Law. And I'm going to mill, and that's going to be a pretty awful mill. Like, I had no no advantage, no no good mills, no, 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 just no options to, to work off of. And I was scared of him going um, Dweller, but um, he didn't go Dweller. He went to a Giant Hand. I felt, I felt like if he went Dweller, he would have uh, pretty much, I think, won um, almost like 90% chance that he would have won. So then he, I'm scared of another Dark Law, so I'm hoping he doesn't. Then he doesn't. I, I activate my Pro Set um, <laughs> Rota, and then I go uh, Junk. He negates with the hand, and luckily I have Bulb Engrave, so I can use Bulb's effect, special sum, special summon itself, and then special Doppel from hand, and it's gonna still get me my the the move I want I wanted to do, the Formula Librarian play. Um, so then I'm gonna. <clears throat> Draw into a tuning and a, uh, a twin twister and add a quick draw, and then I'm gonna mill up tuning and it's oh it's gonna be a quill bolt and that's gonna that's just gonna end the game. Um, he, I guess he got frustrated. Uh, so right here I'm gonna side out all my searcher cards because I don't wanna have a dark law on the field and have searcher cards because that's just no good. So I'm gonna put in iron walls because the dark law. I'm gonna put in MSTs to hit the back row and I'm gonna. Put in Dark Hole and Regeki to um, hopefully clear like a board of the floodgates, which is pretty much what this deck does. It has the Dark Law, which is a walking floodgate, and then it has the options to go to Dweller, like now, like he did just now, and Giant Hand, like he did in the previous game, and then just just be able to clear field. Um, so then I hope I, in, in, in my mind I, I open up pretty good because I have Raikou, I could I have two twin twisters and another Raikou. So I, I can handle t um a Dark Law and a um a Dweller and back roll when I'm ready to go off. So um just waiting to see what he does and he sets and he specials a Bubble Man and then I'm like, Oh okay, damn. Um I think he's gonna go Diamond Dire Wolf and pop my guy and then just attack attack. But then he goes into the Utopia guy, the one that doesn't let me activate any any effects during the battle battle phase until after the damage step. So right now I'm like, oh, I think I just lost. <laughs> so I, I got pretty confident, but it just didn't work out in the end. I mean, sometimes these games are like that, where you think you have it, and then it just get, it just blows up in your face. Um. So yeah. So um. In game three, me going first. I want to just make it as consistent as possible and be able to make it do what it's meant to do. So then I'm thinking to myself, I have to um, take out everything that is. Um, um, I'm watching um, the Nationals, the Belgium Nationals thing right now. Um, so, um, uh, where's my video? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, so I go first. I open up pretty good. Um, and he, uh, he values my guy. But yeah, I, I, I set it up all my answers to floodgates because uh, I don't want to open a bunch of floodgates and then give him a chance to, 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 um, just give him a chance to go. Whereas this deck is, is, um, is good going first, especially when there's nothing, nothing to stop it. I mean, those hand traps, of course, but if there's no back row, then you're, you're sitting pretty good. 
Um, so then, um, I, I, I end up pulling off the librarian play, and, um, I draw a book. I I have really really and enjoy having book in here. It gives me that defensive edge that I didn't have before. I mean before um, before I won regionals last month, I, I was I was maining Book of Moon, but um, I think a few weeks before I decided to take it out, and it was doing pretty good. But now that I I'm getting more in depth with the deck. Um, uh, I decided to put it back in, so it's doing wonders. It's doing it's doing really good. It's an offensive and defensive card, um, especially if you open up the combo, which is um, Quasar, Herald, Gardner, Crystal, and a book. That's like there's no there's no way you can lose that game. I mean, there is, but it's likely that you're not. So then I'm just gonna end up um, twin two strings back row, and that's just gonna be it, because um, I have just too many options. Um, and then he's just gonna get frustrated and then just call it a game. Uh, but yeah, this is this was this was a short video, but um, uh, thanks for watching, and it'll give you an idea of how the matchup is. So um, yeah, uh, I, I just gotta edit more videos and get them get them up, and hopefully you enjoy those as well. And yeah, thank you.